Hello! Hey YouTube! Things are really crowded in our lab. We're working on a bajillion projects we can't show you, but there's just a bunch of electronics and housings, and uh, we can't do our video in the lab today. It's also noisy, we've got the fan. But we have another floor in the building that we're going to take you to and do the tear down there. So come with us. Cool, you're going to see the fourth floor. So this is our, our new uh, space. We're gonna be building this out with some fabrication equipment like laser cutters and spray booth and some circuit making machines and some other cool stuff. Cool. I'm so excited. And we have uh, friends who are taking over the other half of the floor called yes. Lumia and they're working on some very cool stuff which we can't talk about. Yeah. Hi Lumia. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So what are we tearing apart today? We are gonna take apart this Amazon Echo Dot. Um, we've taken apart a number of smart home products by Google, and today we're gonna take one apart by Amazon, see kind of like what they're doing differently, and then we're gonna have a little conversation about something called light piping, but we'll get to that in a minute. Cool. So this is actually from my, uh, my sister, Emily. Hey, Emily. <laughs> she gave this to me. It, it's, it's quite small, it connects over Wi-Fi, um, it uses the same sort of wake word command. So I think in this one, we have it programmed to respond to Echo. Hey, Echo. Oh! Echo, play some jazz. Here's a station for jazz music. All jazz from Amazon Music. The sound it, it sounds terrible. It sounds terrible. So it's the opposite of the, the big echo, which sounds great. This echo has like one tinny speaker, but it has an eighth inch mini jack next to the USB port oh. where you're supposed to plug it into your, okay. st your stereo system. That makes sense. So in that case, I, th I think they've packed a lot of the speech recognition engine and a really sweet light pipe <laughs> um, into here. The speaker sucks. Does it have the same microphone array? I don't know. We're going to find out. Cool. Can I take it apart? Let's do it. Commence teardown. This is one of two PCBs mounted to the top housing. Here we can see our microphone array. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Which makes sense, it aligns with the, um, the center hole. Okay. So we've taken apart a Google Home which had a two microphone array. And then they do a bunch of cool DSP stuff. Typical of Google, it's a real software-based approach. And then Echo, Amazon, has taken a real hardware-based approach. Um, so they've, they're doing their beamforming with seven? Seven microphones. You can see the LEDs positioned next to those as well. Incredible design, actually. Um, from what we've seen with a lot of groups, they've done, you know, there's a lot of glue, where there's a lot of pieces coming uh, from the side. This entire assembly holds together these four screws, and then it's like, it's just a big, tall cheeseburger, and different things can, you know, there's this one connector here, mm -hmm. which is, you know, connecting these two PCBs, and then this is the speaker module, which is really cool, even though it sounds tinny, they're getting a lot of sound out of um, this, um, what is this, a hamburger. Yeah. This is a hamburger. so thin. Let's talk about what we came here for, which is the light pipes. Yes. So there are a lot of kinds of light pipes uh, in the world. The theory behind them is called total internal refraction. And the basic principle is you shoot light into one end of a clear tube. Um, because of the index of refraction, it bounces around inside the tube and then it comes out the other end. Light pipe, right? The light goes down the pipe. Uh, another product we did called the Hammerhead. So this has this dead face look where you don't even know there's a, a light pipe behind it. Um, but in fact, the entire interface is uh, made up of LEDs. And this is what is inside. So that's um, an interior set of lenses, basically, mm -hmm. that sits on top of an LED array. And in this case, we're not really trying to blend the light. We're more trying to just pipe it to the surface. And here's the housing for this. If the LED is just rested on the inside here, you get a lot of diffusion. And so what these do is the LED fires into the pipe, 
and then because of total internal refraction, it stays inside the pipe until it gets to this top surface. Hmm. This light pipe system is based on uh, something slightly different. What they're doing is they're actually creating a reflector using this white ring. So that stack up looks like this. You have the base, the LED, and the PCB, and the diffuser ring. If we did not have the diffuser ring, you would have the LEDs somewhat shining out like this. There would be hot spots that you could see, which doesn't really look good. It doesn't look like a, a quality continuous ring. Right. So what they do is positioning pieces of plastic in front of the LED making the beam um, split sort of in half. And the end effect that you get is this really nice blending between neighboring LEDs. So it appears as though you have this continuous ring. That's a great example of uh, diffusion. So that's a great way to get an even light. Um, it's got three techniques to, to even it out as much as possible. What we're gonna talk about next is light piping, which uses total internal refraction. And that's a great way to get a discrete light um, somewhere that's a different place than the light source. I've got a, a little demo here, and it involves a laser pointer, gotcha, <laughs> and um, a piece of acrylic, really simple, right? Um, and we're sitting here in the dark uh, to show this off. So, basic idea is that the index of refraction of air is one. The value is one. Is one. It's an arbitrary number, but it's one. And the index of refraction of this is somewhere like 1.6. And what happens is when light enters something that has a higher index of refraction, it slows down. And because of that, it bends as it, as it, as it enters. Um, so what you'll see here is like, here's our laser, right? Coming out of the end of this remote control. And if I shoot it into the bottom of this, makes sense, right? It lights up the tube, right? But if I shoot this laser and I shoot it at the end of this like that, hmm. the light bends, refracts inside the tube and shoots out the other end. As light enters that object, it slows down mm. and it bends. Light entering at angles, if this were made of air, would just continue on out. But if the light hits a certain critical angle, and we'll show what that is in a second, it will bounce back inside the object. And that continues to happen. Mm -hmm. until we get to the end here and the light emits out here. So this is the idea of it's acting as a pipe. Right, right? this is the, a light pipe. The light is not leaving the side, it's pushed all towards the, exactly. the end. And once you understand this critical angle here, you can design this light pipe to be all sorts of shapes mm -hmm. as long as they obey that rule where the light never hits the walls at a angle higher than the critical angle. In design, this is really useful when you have a flat PCB, but I want a light on the side here. I don't want to put an LED on leads. I can put an LED on that PCB, and then I can do my little snaky light pipe, and the light comes out there. So just that was a quick demonstration of how a light pipe would work. Here is a great video on Snell's Law, uh, which can show you how all the math in that works. Hmm. By the way, it's a little bit late, but happy Chinese New Year. There's some footage we're going to share at the end of the episode that shows the celebration in our neighborhood. And also, uh, happy birthday to Teresa, my wife. Happy birthday, Teresa. But... Happy birthday, Teresa. It is your birthday. Um, if you guys like this, like and subscribe down below. And uh, leave in the comments anything that you want to see us tear down. We feel like we're getting mired in smart home products. Inspire us. Uh, we'll take apart anything. Right. Actually, this was mentioned by one of the viewers to, oh. to tear down. So thanks for the recommendation. Thanks, comments. Bye.